Hello friends and welcome back to Hades. So I'm still trying to get into my normal schedule again. You know, last time I talked about how my car was damaged by a neighbor and I still have a lot to do with that stuff and I, I really have to invest a lot of time still and because of that I decided to skip one episode of Darkest Dungeon 2 for now and get into it at the end of this week again. But now I want to keep on with the Hades runs and keep that one going. Uh, in the meantime, the new Darkest Dungeon uh, update has actually come out. And so now the Death Door 2.0 system is in place. And I really want to play it, but, you know, it will have to take some more time until we take a look at that. For now, let's get this run going. And I think we start out with actually giving a little oh, nectar gift to Skelly here. For you, mate. Thought you might get a kick out of this. For me, pal? Awful nice of you, just awful nice, but guess what? I got this for you. Tit for tat, you understand? It deals the deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the lucky tooth. And that one's actually quite useful. But first of all, take a look at which weapon we will take this time. Um, the run with the spare is not that long ago, and I think I have talked about how I think the last shield runs actually shield. been quite a while ago, so I think let's no, take that no, one. And I don't want to do the aspect of chaos again, and we don't have enough Titan's blood to properly upgrade the aspect of Zeus, but maybe we just go for a little aspect of Zagreus action for now. We have not used any aspect of Zagreus for a very long time, and I think the uh, Zagreus aspect of Aegis is actually not bad. Because, you know, uh, you see the attack and dash strike damage gets upgraded by up to 15 points if you put 5 more Titan's blood into it. And I think we will just go like just 2 more points here. All of the Zagreus aspects only take 1 Titan's blood per level, so 5 Titan's blood in total to upgrade fully. And we, with the plus 6 attack damage bonus now, I think this should be a decent weapon to use. Do I have the right aspect? It's not, yeah, okay, I do have. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. Uh, okay, now the normal attack deals 34 damage. Not too bad, I would say. So let's take a quick look at the upgrades on the Mirror of Night that we need to use, though. Something's added to the fated list. To keep progressing with the uh, the um, Dark Reflections prophecy, and we have a new one here. Close at heart. Uh, someday equip various keepsakes from those who would be closer to him. Ah, okay, now we have to equip all of the different keepsake ones. We have not yet used the broken spare point, the distant memory, and the forbidden horn yet. I think the distant memory we actually don't have yet, right? So, frostbitten horn is from Demeter, broken spare point is from... from Petnoclose, right? I believe. We have not yet equipped those at all. It's only two um, Ambrosia, though. For the Dark Reflections, we need Dark Foresight, Fated Authority, God's Legacy. Uh, you know what? Let's for take for this run. Let's take off the God's Pride and use God's Legacy. With the 0% bonus. Good enough for me. Maybe the other. Just so we get it out of the way to have it equipped when we win, hopefully. <laughs> and let's also switch out the high confidence again for thick skin, because I just like that a lot better. <laughs> and then uh, the family favorite, no, which, where was it? Right, this one is the damage for each Olympians whose boons we have. So if we switch that out for the privileged status, Deal bonus damage where the foes afflicted by at least two status curse effects. And I think I want to not invest any Titan Spot into this one as well. So I think the Privileged Status and the God's Legacy are the ones that we try to get off the list this time. We are actually abandoning a bit of bonus damage to, for doing that. But I think it should still be very dual. Um, privileged Status is on the list and... God's Legacy as well. God's Legacy was the one that we had here, right? 
I can do better. Right, exactly. Okay, good. I think that should do it. And we are uh, actually well prepared. But also, this time, <laughs> it's a quick keepsake, right? Um, okay, so now we have unlocked the Lucky Tooth from Skelly. This will give us like one extra death defiance that we can use at any point during the run. We can equip it and the next time that we die, this one will get used up first and will restore up to 50 HP when we die. And I think when you level it up, it goes to 75 and then to 100 HP. Not entirely sure, but I think that's what it was. So being revived once with 100 HP, no matter what your life total is, is actually a very, very useful thing. Uh, I don't think we want to equip this now, though. I think we could actually get go for the Frostbitten Horn and use maybe the Demeter Boon on the attack to slow down enemies and cope a little bit better with the with the shield being a bit of a slower weapon. You know what? Let's do that. Could be a nice idea, huh? Ooh, we can also talk to Skelly. Oh, thanks again for that nectar bottle ah. before. Stuff just goes right through me like you won't believe. Though I hope you're not going around giving that stuff away to every bozo you know. What, well, Skelly? You worry something bad is going to happen if I express a bit of generosity from time to time through our somewhat illicit gift-giving custom around here? No, I'm worried you'll be wasting your time. If you give that stuff away, don't expect to get anything back. Well, not after the first time, anyway. Usually. I'm just saying... Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> nice how gives us the information that only on the very first gift we will be getting something, namely a keepsake. But maybe I just want to show thanks to my friends for its own sake. But upgrading the the relationships with the other people will still be worth it in the end. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the Pact of Punishment. And I actually think we could keep it exactly like it is right now. Lasting consequences could be a bit problematic. Maybe we want to exchange that for something else. Middle management. Uh, higher life totals for enemies I don't think we want to use, actually. You know what? Let's get rid of the lasting consequences and instead get a bit of a convenience fee going and stay at 8 heat for now. Should be very no turning back. doable. Okay, let's see what we get here on our very first boon, huh? Damn it, how it is. I don't often divulge such blessings as I'm about to, Zacrius. Don't thank me for it. But make certain that you use my power well. Well, one rare two epics, hmm. Special stronger and inflicts chill. Nah, I think we want to actually take the frost strike. That is the only one that's of lower rarity, but rare is still very good, and I'm entirely okay with that. So let's get this going, huh? Wow, that guy is actually very, very fast. And I think there will be more of those, huh? Yeah, we really need to watch out for oh, those guys. Uh, you know what? Hammer upgrade it is right away. And I've got something in mind that I hope we will be getting this time. But let's take a look at what it will be. Not too bad so far. And what do we get? Dreadflight. Special can strike up to four additional foes. Bull rush gains a power rush. Pulverizing blow. Attack hits twice but does not knock foes away. That was the one I was thinking about. It's actually very, very good with the aspect of Zagris. The more you've upgraded, obviously, the better it gets. Because, you know, the upgrade that you do for the aspect of Zagris with the Titan's Blood increases its base damage, which means that... Boons from gods that give you a percentage base upgrade for your damage actually give more of a bonus, and then hitting twice with your normal attack actually deals a lot of damage. Let's take this. Let's go, Aegis. And let's see 
how we can pair here. Obviously, we are not getting any knockback anymore. That's what you get. But you already see how much damage we can deal here. And we've got a reroll. You know, we could actually get Poseidon. Health up would be nice as well, but I, I think let's go for Poseidon. So quiet. And give him a gift. Mighty Poseidon. Greatest of my uncles, arguably. Arguably. Accept this gift. For all the times I'm offered gifts or sacrifices, little nephew, I still always very much appreciate it. I mean, look, I'm grinning ear to ear. <laughs> I'm told a number of the underwater denizens from my domain were captured fair and square through your surpassing skill using the rod of fishing, little Hades. They're yours. I have millions more. Millions more, yeah, sure. Okay, we can actually exchange our our attack boon, our frost strike for tempest strike. Damage wise it will not be very different and hmm. Actually with the double strike aspect, and hopefully it will actually strike enemies twice and knock them back twice. Getting this in combination with for example the, the boon that makes it so smashing enemies into a, into a surface releases a watery splash. That one could be fantastic. Science 8 is good. Tidal Dash is great. You know what? Let's take a Tempest Strike and see how this will actually work out with our hammer upgrade. I'm not entirely sure how these will interact with each other. Yeah, it seems we got our knockback back now. Well, I think this could be fantastic. For now, our damage is looking really great. Uh, nothing to see here in this chamber, so Ares it is. Hmm, Ares on our special, maybe? Oh, that was the first hit we took, I believe. Did you see how he just crushed that guy? Nice. Lord Ares, it is my privilege to have met you and have learned your death inflicting way. Oh, there's a fishing spot down there. I do appreciate this gift to me, although you really shouldn't have. The suffering which you inflict is ample compensation in itself. I sense so much death at the gates of your father's realm of late, my kin. Now I know that seems perfectly ordinary on the face of it, except there's something more. I wonder if you know the reason why. Hmm, maybe. Special Inflict Doom, Slicing Shot, Ares Aid. So Ares Aid, yeah, because you turn into this impervious blade rift, it's, only, it's the only thing that deals damage at, uh, during the time, and if you're... Normal attack deals more damage. It's actually a lot more useful to use a normal attack then, right? Mm, we have had all of these, and I think of these maybe Curse of Pain could be the best. Let's get this fishing done here. Not too bad. Pom could be good. Mmm. Dionysus. Uh, not, not Dionysus. Sisyphus, excuse me. Um, we could meet Sisyphus. Pom looks nice. You know what? Let's go to Sisyphus. Give him a bit of nectar and also. Just on a little break. Hello, sir. Maybe some darkness? Why, Prince, you being serious right now? Is that for me? You deserve better, Sisyphus. This really isn't much, but. Maybe it'll help you while away the days, nights, whatever time it is. <laughs> hey, your highness, anything the matter or just passing through? Happy that we get to chat like this of late, of course. Sisyphus, don't take this the wrong way, but why are you helping me? My father stuck you here for an eternity of torment, and even still you greet me with a smile time after time. <laughs> Come now, Prince said, that's just the way I am. Besides, you're not your father, thank the gods. You always seemed a decent lad to me. And if you're saying you want out of here, why, I suppose I can relate, is all. <laughs> you probably can. 
Um, I was thinking about taking the Karen's Oval, but I think Darkness should be better in the long run. Say no more. 55 Darkness. And another key, which will be a reroll. And I think we really want to see more boons from Poseidon as much as we can right now. This could be a really good Poseidon dedicated run. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Still more explosions going! Uh, nothing to the use? Okay. Gemstones are, like, the... the thing that I li uh, like getting the least. They lose their, their real y usage so fast and are, like, the resource that gives you the least amount of actual progress regarding getting stronger. You know, at the start, with the different chamber, uh, kind of chambers that you unlock, the fountain and so on, they are actually very, very useful. The usefulness really gets lost very, very quickly. Shiny. 20 money, still. Something we can buy. Um, you know what, the Chaos Kit seems like a nice idea. Let's do that. Too. Money, Pom. I think out of these we want the Pom now and increase our damage output a little bit more. And let's not forget using the special from time to time. Huh? That was a good fight. Uh, Tempest Strike to 70% damage. Oh, that sounds nice. Stronger still. And, ooh, there is a trial with Ares and Demeter. So, we paid for it, so we ought to take it, right? And you know what? Master Chaos, I pledge never to forget you, your good graces. May your wisdom and your whim forever guide me. Is this an offering of fealty or friendship, son of Hades? And we're really burning through our nectar reserves, right? Master Chaos, it seems I've developed something of a talent around breaking out of here. Or there, I mean, the underworld. So, it's become more of an official role for me, I guess. If escape shouldn't be possible, then someone needs to find the gaps. Indeed. And you shall visit with me still. Despite accomplishing the principal object of your journey, when first we met. Good. Okay, there's more stuff from the fated list that we could get off. Um, getting another cars. Hmm? Dash try deals 42% more damage is actually nice. This could actually be very helpful for this run. Main soul, okay, not using attack, meh. Bonus HP would be nice, but let's take Caustic Lunch for now. And we have, don't have so much money, so let's take another boon from Ares here. In the name of Hades. Slicing shot, meh, urge to kill. Yeah, general damage up seems like a nice idea, I would say. too great, but it's something at least. And I think we're actually well prepared to fight the Furies. I'm back, ladies. Ready, Tess. Your mother has returned to us already, Zagreus. And still you're going to keep battling your way out, past me and everything up there. Why? Father says there's no escape from here, and I like to repeatedly show him he's wrong. <laughs> Besides, I think getting out there a bit from time to time does me some good. Sounds like you found yourself a steady line of work. Most jobs just need doing. If this one gives you some fulfillment, stick to it. And now come on. Huh. She seems really supportive, right? Bad first attack. What? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Stephanie really almost got me there. Oh, 
Oh, completely forgot that you actually can't use your regular attack while the shield is thrown out. Oh. Okay, not too bad so far. Oh. Come on, give me an opportunity to strike you. Well. Oh, okay, took a lot of damage there at the end. I was actually a bit worried. <laughs> I did it. Still not too bad. We can actually heal up a little bit now with the fountain, and I think we switch our keepsake to the conch shell of Poseidon. Let's do that, and then maybe I should switch. Um, All set. Urge to kill and curse of pain are not that great right now, but I think we could actually make something out of them. So I don't think there's a need to sell them now. Uh, anything you want to get here? You know what? Let's buy a Hydra Light and be on our way, huh? Broke out of Tartarus. Cheers. I was actually thinking about increasing the extreme measures packed, uh, or more like condition, on this run to one higher level and actually fight the extreme measures champions of Elysium this time. Maybe we will do this like sometime in the, in the near future. Maybe not on the next run or something, but I think it will be time for this relatively, relatively soon. Because I actually think the, the heroes fight with the extreme measures upgrade is actually very, very fun. Except for like maybe one little aspect of it, but we will have to talk about that when we get to it. So yeah, we see we require 10 heat in order to go down here and this one. So we actually can't do this now. Um, ooh, and I think we want to go here now. Another fishing spot. Whoa, that was a quick one. Just a crustacean. Just the ingredient I needed, hun. Thank you so much. You know, you weren't near as bad as I'd heard. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We're still getting to know each other. Plenty of time for me to live up to my notorious reputation. Though I'm surprised you've heard of me at all. Hey there, hun. So what do you think? Pretty good tune, right? Don't know how come everybody doesn't sing. Lightens the mood, passes the time. What's not to like? Mm. It's a beautiful song. Even though you're angry with him. Orpheus, I mean. You're always singing still. Oh, it's not Orpheus' this song. You kidding me? This one's all mine. He always did like going on about how I'm his muse. Well, that's because I wrote half his songs for him. <laughs> Bet he didn't mention that, did he? <laughs> well, not exactly in those words, but... Orpheus can be a little hard to pass. He can be a little hard to tolerate. <laughs> a quality I hope isn't going to rub off on any of his mates. I should get back to practicing. See ya. She's really mad at him, huh? And I think we're checking the refreshing nectar. And the Barok. Sure thing, Thanks so much. Hey, we actually get some more nectar here. We haven't, haven't yet gotten our boot from Poseidon. We are... Uh, Overdue about that, huh? Well, oh, come on. I hate it when those guys fire at you from off screen. Right on cue. Wall slam. Yeah. <laughs> Who should I get this to? Emperor level up, nice one. And I don't think we need the health. Um, let's keep our money for something else. Or 
do we get? There's the Poseidon Boon. We only have gotten one yet. Oh, this is a witch fight with refreshing nectar to increase the rarity. So we're probably due for a very high rarity boon here. And now the, the knockback with these guys which are able to fly above the lava again is very, very much detrimental and not helpful. Maybe a good time to use a bit more of our special here. But I don't want to lose all that much health. Come on, just die. Ugh. Thank you. <laughs> really hate those guys when they get over the lava and debate you that way. Larcha, Breaking Wave. And Razor Schultz. Razor Schultz would be great. Ra breaking Wave should be fantastic, I believe. Not maybe on Asphodel, because there's not so many surfaces that, that you crush, can crush enemies into. But still, Breaking Wave should be fantastic. We also have three rerolls. You can see on the bottom right corner. So, we should use those at some point if we get mediocre choices. For now, 54 HP or something like that. 57 maybe, after getting a bit of HP back there. Yeah, 57. Should be alright-ish. Too bad we can't knock those guys back, actually. How did you actually hit me, huh? Must have been the, the, the very tip of the damage radius. A bit more max HP. We still haven't gotten any actual max HP upgrade, but only little upgrades through using the... Uh, through picking up darkness. So maybe we want to get a bit of max HP now, but you know, Hermes... Hermes can be so good. We should really get a bit of max HP though. But for now, I think our defense is actually okay-ish. Like okay. Special pass the 30%. Ooh. Uh, quick recovery could be really nice. Attack being faster, 20%. Also not bad. Hmm. Do more to take the quick recovery. A little fountain, and we are almost back to max HP again. We have a good amount of money, so hopefully we can buy something good. Another Poseidon Boon, maybe? Ah, uh, uh? uh, it's Athena. You know what? Getting her dash would be fantastic. I'll take it. Divine dash. There it is. No two thoughts about it. Um, care on, mate. I don't suppose you've given any further thought to my proposal to just, you know, ferry me up to the surface, seeing as it's not out of your way. Oh, come on, Mark, do it. Bring us up to the surface. I'll take that as a no. <laughs> I want to call him Mark from now on, because, you know, hi, Mark. <laughs> and we're already at the Hydra fight, huh? Wow, 10 minutes left on the clock. We're actually very, very quick here. To one another here. Well, thank you, but no thank you. Okay, let's see if we can actually make this fight without using a death defiance here, huh? I would really like to if we can somehow manage. I need to stop taking those bad hits, though. I'm 
so many hits on like these head crushes here. When it smashes down its head. And those deal a lot of damage because they are so easy to avoid because they are so well telegraphed. Come on. Ugh. All of the lava around here. The magma on the streets and the pathways. Okay, 6 HP. No, I... I... I dashed and I immediately saw the errors of my ways. And again, it's that's like a theme of, of all the runs that we're doing, right? That on the on the very end of the Hydra fight, I'm losing it as he fights. <laughs> ah, hey, okay, still not too bad, right? Get a little bit of health back and... Which one? Oh, we only got one boon out of, out of Poseidon here. We got good boon, a good boon though, but I would like to get more. But maybe we still have to switch out the conch shell. We have not yet ex equipped the broken spare point. So if we take damage, we become impervious for one second, so we don't get hit again immediately after that. Hmm. You know what? Just to get it off the fated list. Let's do this now for the Elysium. And we don't actually have any money right now. Um, I think about selling Urge to kill. Divine Dash and Tempest Strike I'm not touching. Excuse me. 30% um, damage bonus still isn't too bad. But if we want to, at some point, maybe be able to buy back a Death Defiance, maybe we need to do that. Let's do it. There goes that one. And I'm so tempted to buy the Darkness now, but... Uh... Come on, let's do it. <laughs> and a... Fishing Door would also be nice, but it costs 84. That's too much for my taste. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I think we are good regarding the time. The fields of Elysium. I would like to get a bit stronger. Um, yeah, maybe the Nidlus will be helping with that. Being able to deal like any damage with the ranged attack now seems like a very nice thing to have. And they are like teleporting around, right? Whenever we hit them. Yeah, well, special would be. Doom Impact actually not dealing bad damage is actually quite good. So what do we get now? Um, after your special hits, next two attacks deal plus 80% damage. Hmm. Special can strike up to four additional foes before returning. That means that the special is out for longer. So we can not attack while it is out, right? Um, would be nice to inflict... Uh, our our doom effect to multiple enemies before it returns. What could be actually bad? Hmm, I'm not sure. Empowering flight could be nice, like inflict doom, get the empowerment for the next two attacks, which is more like one attack, you know. 80% more damage. Let's try that one. We haven't had this as well. So it's something we get off the faded list, and we can actually, hopefully, actually make something out of it. And again, we get confronted with the options we have max HP up or Hermes. 
Do we actually still have the... No, I think we used the the bonus for, uh, about for the rarities already. Would have been nice if we had that for 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 uh, getting the Hermes Blue now. Uh, you know, uh, you really see bonus uh, for having three boons. The next three boons have upgraded rarity. That was I was talking about. Maybe the convoluted the way I, I phrased it, but you know, having something like that. Extra increased strategy or something. When getting a boon from from Hermes, it's actually very very nice all the time because you know, I think the rarity on his boots actually normally a bit reduced actually, so it's harder to get a an epic rarity boon out of Hermes than it is with other gods. And his boons, if they have high rarity, are actually so fantastically useful, right? My friend, may I call you my friend? <laughs> I hope this modest offering will lift your spirits, but won't slow you down. I look like I've got the sort of time to sit next to cuz. Well, guess what? I do. So cheers. Cheers, mate. In the name of Hades. Move speed plus twenty percent. Dodge chance ten percent. Side hustle. Right now, doesn't seem great. You know what? I'm willing to use one reroll here. Not what I need right now. Hyper sprint. Or 10% dodge chance. So you see, if we want to reroll again, we have to spend two more of our reroll dice. We could do this again, but rerolling the same choice of boons over and over again gets very, very costly very, very quickly. Um, Swift Strike. You know what? Compared to 10% dodge chance, let's take the Swift Strike, actually. And we don't have a lot of money, so let's get the key and get our reroll back, huh? Oh my god, these guys have a lot of health. Flash armor. Come on, get smacked into the wall! Oh, what a nice way of dealing damage to this. Extremely obnoxious guys! Oh my god, those are tanky! Holy moly, there's more of them! Two more of them, indeed. It's like playing pinball with those guys' faces. And actually... working. Actually worked out quite nicely. Two more keys for us. And Petro Close. Hmm. We could get one Death Defiance back. Getting extra money would would also not be bad. Um Let's visit him. A little bit of money. About every detail. And our last nectar for him. Here in Elysium, you have to win this stuff, so I have rarely had occasion to enjoy it. Thanks. I'd say you earned it more than anybody else I've seen around here lately, though I don't make the rules. This spear point that you gave me, sir, it's been quite useful. Mm. Though I have to ask you, is there any particular significance to it? Most spear points aren't imbued with power such as this. Oh, that. Just something I've been meaning to get rid of, but... It can be difficult, discarding trifles from the past. Knowing it's provided you some benefit is welcome news. Maybe this voice line was actually triggered by us actually using the thing for once? 
And I think the Hydra Light Gold we don't need right now, and the Cyclops Jerky could actually be very, very useful. But you know what? I'm willing to use to get one Death Defiance back Just and up on you, sir. be confident I doubt it'll be that this was no bad decision. Hmm, Demeter or Pom. We could get something useful out of Demeter, though I don't think we want to get an. To, maybe, I don't think we want to have her cast or exchange one of our attack or special boots for, for her, but... Could still be a decent idea to get something out from her, right? Come on, I'm missing so much! Just because I wanted to, like, try and not have all of these guys pick up any weapons. Uh, worked out quite okay-ish, I would say. Come on! Ugh. That's it. Okay. Um... Crystal Beam. Mm, yeah, hmm. Rare Crop. It's a bit late for that. You know what? Frozen Touch could actually be useful. Chilling Pose after taking damage. It's not a lot of damage, but throwing enemies down after we get damaged could keep us from getting hit a few times, right? Or maybe we want to reroll. Mm, I'm willing to try it. Any other boons for me? Uh, still a Crystal Beam and Rare Crop, and Ravenous Will, um, we have no cast, take less damage and deal more. Okay, we have one cast, which takes like, three or four seconds, I think three seconds to replenish, so if we use it, we have three seconds of dealing 30% more damage. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Sounds okay. Oh, and there's more Poseidon. Please give me that. I would love to get maybe the option to inflict some, some rupture on our enemies or something like that oh my god getting hit by those splitters again they do so much damage if you run into their their big balls of hurt and this was really just me being bad Like all of the damage on this on this fight here was just me being bad, and now these guys that actually explode are there. I didn't figure it out quickly enough. Mm. This was really not a good fight. Ah. Could have been worse though. Not shot, meh. Ocean's Bounty. Rewards are worth more. Hmm. Razor Schultz on normal rarity, 10 rupture damage. You know what? Reroll. What else we got? Uh, Hydraulic Might. First 10 seconds, bonus attack and special damage. Okay, Ocean's Bounty. Goons with knock away effects deal bonus damage to bosses. That's our main attack, dealing 30% more damage. I think that was a good reroll. And more gemstones again. Hmm. The amount of damage that we can deal in these close encounters you see here we had three of these of these guys with their back against the wall and we did so much damage to them in such a short amount of time as well Too bad you can't actually knock back those butterfly orbs. 
Oh my god! So many enemies! Actually trying to reflect the the shot of these splitches back to him. Maybe wasn't the worst of ideas, huh? Wow, but these were a lot of enemies and actually quite a tough fight. Um Ares. You know what? I think we take the money. So hopefully we can buy something good at the at the end of era area shop. Concentrating right now because you know Right now this can go south quite quickly if we if we don't watch out for what we're doing. Oh, and there is another fishing spot. Time to fish. Bing! Huh? Huh? A seamare! That's the biggest fish that's to get in the Elysium. Nice. Um, no shop or something like that. And we are still at 120 max HP. That's probably the most problematic thing right now. I want to get the bonus health, but you know what? 500 gold pieces in our pockets. Let's go to the shop, actually. Um, that is really bad. I hope that we could maybe buy a health up or like a little bit of actual health. Ah. Hmm. is Fortune, Slicing Shot, Battle Rage. None of those really strike me as being fantastic. But I don't think we want to use our last reroll here. Let's take the better rage and be on our way. Ooh, 38 HP for the heroes fight. That will be a tough one, I'd say. Ah, at last. Come, mysterious. Let's vanquish this blighted. I think it will be actually very, very good if you have some bonus damage against bosses now. Wow! Our damage still is not really fantastic. I'm actually a little bit concerned right here. Oh, oh, come on! He's just freaking sniper there. This is really intense right now. Oh, 
come on, last F defines. Somehow, damage output is really not where I wanted to be against bosses. The 30% damage bonus we have probably actually is very, very useful right now because, you know, the whole knockback and dealing additional damage through that is not working right now here. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'd like it to to be. Well, twelve HP left. I dedicate this victory to you, Good Shade. I really did not see that one coming. That was a really, really hard fight. And I don't actually think I performed that badly regarding the dodging and so on. Ah, now we're in a bit of a pickle. I think we will, like, have to keep all of the money that we can get to... Maybe buy a Death Defiance back. Without any Death Defiances going into the in the Hades fight with the amount of damage that we have seen we can do to bosses, I'm not very convinced this is in the bag. get one more death defiance back maybe through the use of an athena boon or if we can buy one on the well of karen and we start out the fight with a good amount of hp then i think we got a good chance Ooh, okay let's see what we can do here there's no athena only 120 hp still that's problematic. Um, I think we... Oh, there is Athena, actually. I think we start out with the max HP, and then we go for Athena. And hopefully we, we find the Sator Sack quickly. Yeah, and these close encounters here now, the breaking wave will be absolutely fantastic. Because you see, the enemies have so much HP, but we like bounce them around and deal so much damage with our double knockback. Why is there another vermin down here? I think I thought there was only three. <laughs> and I thought I would, had already killed him. There, there was one more left. Oh my god. Oh. I'm back. That one hurts. Again. That one really hurts. This run really looked very, very good and entirely doable until the heroes fight. Hmm. Too bad. Okay, so we have to repeat this at one point. Our win streak of six, I believe, now has come to an end. Too bad. Uh, but it had to happen at some point, right? So let's talk with the guys here. Well, well, well. Yeah, yeah, I know that we have died again. It's been a while, oh, so though. Stuff with the Olympians. Will you just tell me what's going on for once? How did Mother come to join you here? What's your problem with Uncle Zeus? I thought she already told you. Ah, come with me now. 
Something interesting about to happen. Swear to me that you shall never repeat what you are about to hear. Swear it. All right, all right, I swear. I swear in your own name, I'll keep what you're about to say between us. So? So, you had it mostly right before. After I inherited the underworld, your uncle Zeus felt sympathy for me, he says. Your mother, he knew she was unhappy on Olympus. And he knew I was drawn to her. So what did he do? He brought her here, gave her to me as a gift. You weren't expecting a gift like that. But she didn't want to return to Olympus, and you liked her, so you didn't send her away. And you were angry with Zeus for putting you in that position. Cut ties with him. Yes! The blasted fool with all his flights of fancy. He does whatever he wants. He could have achieved a similar outcome in a limitless number of reasonable ways, rather than result of what was tantamount to kidnapping, even if she wanted to leave. He's... Pretty much right about that, right? Yeah, nothing to add here, really, huh? And now if Demeter and the others found all this out, you and Mother, even Zeus, would be in a bad spot, wouldn't he? He must have a temper on him to match yours. You know nothing of tempers if mine is your frame of reference, Agrius. Now, enough of this. You know the rest. Remember your oath. I will. Take care, Father. Hmm. So that was actually very, very insightful, right? And they are leaving on a good note. Fantastic progress, huh? <laughs> the house is in order. What to hear? Nix, I encountered Demeter. She mentioned her daughter, Persephone. You never said she was my grandmother. Didn't you think, under the circumstances, that was something I should know? Listen to me, child. What you know or do not know is for your protection. Your protection and your birth mother's as well. Your suspicion and your curiosity are warranted. But I can do no more about them now, except to caution you. Are we understood? Yes, we're understood. Okay, let's see if someone else up here has something to say before we go down there. You're much too modest, Lord Achilles, for someone with such a number of heroic deeds and glorious decapitations to his name. You ought to be more like ever boastful Zacharias and talk it up some more. <laughs> glorious decapitations. Oh, fear not, Orpheus. I was quite boastful in my day. Would you look at where it got me? Besides, I've not the imagination to come up with tales as tall as those of our Prince Zacharias. What can I say? I try. <laughs> and Tusa going down there. <laughs> oh. Hey there. Oh, Prince Persephone, pure mother. Wow, she's. Wow. It's no wonder you wanted to try to find her. She's something else. Although, I guess you didn't know that till you met her, huh? But still. It's definitely an adjustment with my mother here, especially for her. I'm glad the two of you are getting on all right. I guess things will be different now, but. Hopefully it's for the better, isn't it? Are you kidding? Ah, didn't mean to be so rude. It's just, I think it's definitely better now. We're like a complete team. Are you kidding? <laughs> I guess we are. Oh, I love it how she she gets more bold and and, and actually uh, goes out. It's more outgoing uh, the more you get to know her. Fantastic. Such great de character development. Zagreus. Good. Hmm. I wanted to tell you something. Your victories against me, they don't count for anything. Sounds like you've been giving this a lot of thought there, Meg. How do you figure? Nyx's mirror. You couldn't possibly beat me without its help. Or hers. I'm not competing with you, Meg. I'm trying to get past you. To the surface. Call it what you want. You're doing what you have to do. I understand. But you are not stronger than me. You just have more help. <laughs> Nothing wrong with having help. Copium! That's a lot of copium from Mag, huh? Somewhat dwelling. We actually have a good chef. 
quite a good amount of fishes right now. Hmm, that wasn't Temporary too bad. Right. Especially the three nectar are very nice. And I think we want to exchange some more here, huh? Hmm, 25 darkness for three keys. You know what? First of all, let's do this here again, huh? Give her the gems. I could use that. Because I don't think the gemstones Trading will be gemstones. like any use. Sure, why not? We are burning through them quite quickly, though. Let's see that nectar. Ten nectar again. That's that's really good for the next run. Also, we have had some new prophecies foretold, so let's take a look at those. The fated list of minor prophecies. Um, Queen's plan. We shall someday inspire Queen Persephone to develop a plan that might settle the squall between the House of Hades and Olympus. Grow closer with more Olympians so the plan can unfold. So we have to spend more nectar, and that's what we're doing right now, right? Um, of gods, divine pairings, primordial boons and banes. Only one, no, nee, two, no, two more, two more of the boons and banes. The weapon things, dark reflections. We didn't get any more of of that list because you know we died, and we have to use the lucky tooth and the distant memory yet. Oh, hey, okay. not too bad. Still a bit sad that we actually lost that run, but you can't win all of them, right? Oh, hey, Scanning's got something to say. Come on, mate, won't you say who hired you? Was it Achilles? Couldn't have been Nyx. Is it that big a deal? I am an individual of some integrity, boyo, and protect my sources with my life. You'll have to kill me if you want to make me squeal. <laughs> okay. So, maybe we'll take a look at that next time, though. Let's end this episode, and hopefully get another good run going in the next one. For now, my name is Tomo McBonsai. I'm your friendly little neighborhood tree. I wish you all the best. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.